this is it. The semi-final heat between Team Luwake from Monte Vista in Cape Town and Team Pardo from Kroonberg in Gerberg. These guys have pushed themselves to the edge and beyond through the elimination heat. And now they stand a chance at a spot in our finals where they might be crowned the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011. In this heat, they will be competing in three challenges, each worth 100 points. The school that scores the most overall points out of all three challenges goes through to our finals. And as we know by now, the team with the least points sinks and must leave the show forever. Age. So we will be bringing you all the highs and the lows, for sure. My name is Nibbel and my fan is Weingar. Um, I go to Groenberg Secondary School and I am 15 years old. I am Ozo Swartz, I am 15 and I go to Groenberg School. I am Aldine Plakies, I am 15 years old, I go to Groenberg School and I am from Claymont. My name is Stelsia Absalom, I am 15 years old and I go to Groenberg School. Ik is Nina Engelke, ik sta 13 jaar uit en ik is in Laar School Montevista. Ik is Santa Marie, ik is 13 jaar uit en ik is in Laar School Montevista. Ik is Jan van Wijk, ik ga naar school bij Montevista Laar School en ik is 13 jaar uit. Mijn naam is Dylan Bierkes, ik kom van Montevista Primary en ik ben 13 jaar oud. Today our teams will decipher some cryptic clues, face some intense obstacles and tasks, and ride a zooty Segway. Morning guys, Morning. welcome to Eco Discovery, your first Segway experience. A real blast from the past. With a few secrets, twists and turns, these teams have proved their worth once again. They've been on a journey of danger, discovery and hardships. These teams have earned their chance to fight for a spot in the finals. We have a good opening and the Spanish is still there, so we have to come to the semi-final. Well, our team's plan with the semi-final is just to be positive, go flat out in everything that we do and just help each other through the heat. Hello, like a wall of us, a tower to try him, but us have a way. I, all is a client, I can feel a bit of an eye. Us and the media, so many schools are funny for him. It's yet not going to be a challenge like us, but seen. Us is here to win. Hello, Luatle, come on, guys. Hey, guys, show me prep and ready. Come on, show me Captain Red. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, whoa! Well, it is the semi finals. So, uh, who full yellow? Excited. Oh, well, okay. Well, excited and nervous. It's okay. So, are you guys ready to show the whole nation what season challenges you are in today's rad race? Yes! If you want to work in the work, you can go to our website sostv.co.za where you can get all the information about the eight days and our spanning and you can also get with me on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, so let's get you guys moving forward to find out who's going to get the first crucial advantage for today's challenge. Come on guys, let's go! These 
two teams have done their best to secure a promotion to this, the semi-finals. This is Challenge SOS, where these teams will brave some extreme outdoor challenges with some stars returning from previous episodes. The pace is increasing to find the school that will take the title of the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011 and in doing so, take the glory and reward back to their school. Today these guys will face off in a super cool rad race challenge that will start at a milk crate packing zone. Milk crates stacked, they're going to hit a little um, snag, shall we say? That's right, they're going to have to figure out the rest of the challenge by themselves. Through the use of cryptic clues, these guys will have to undertake a relay race. Only you and I will know that it involves skedaddling over that huge plank wall, then going through the cargo net bridge without touching the cables on the side, one of them riding a Segway and circling some red and yellow balloons guarded by the teammates. Until finally at the end of the Segway leg, they're going to have to get one of their mates across to the finish line on an A-frame made up of huge locks. The team that finishes in the quickest time wins. Short and sweet. Alright, so you know that today's challenge is a timed race. It's complicated, it's radical, and potentially a very dangerous thing to do. Today's challenge counts for 100 points. Now, we won't know who's earned those points up until the end of this heat. So now, let's determine which team's going to tackle the rad race first. So we thought that since this is the semi-finals, we'd up the game a little bit. Let the crates decide. So the boys in black will show you how to stack those crates really high. And guys, they can even go higher than the tree itself. So be very careful. The team that stacks the most crates before they tumble will get a huge advantage. They will race after the other team. Got it? This is sort of like an, um, an amazing race type of challenge where you kind of don't know where you're going, but you're going to get clues along the way to get you there. So the team that gets the highest stack of crates gets to race last because, ta-da, they're going to get their first clue then and there at the starting line while the other team goes for the race. That's a huge advantage, guys, because remember, this is a timed race, which means the earlier you can get your clues, the quicker you can figure them out and the quicker you can get through the race and win the 100 points. Now to the challenge itself. Guys, it's a timed relay race and there will be three legs to the race. With each leg, you're going to get a cryptic clue that's going to guide you to the next step. Verstaan jylle? Ja, verstaan. Goed jylle, slim kinders. So are you guys ready? Yes! <laughs> Fantastic! Let's go get sky high with those crates. Come on! Yeah! Die persoon wat op op die harnis is, is al persoon wat die kraten moet pak. So die ander team members sal die kraten vir hom of haar paas. Die touw is as jy te hoog is en jou teammates onder kan nie met die krat op jou paas nie. Laat sat net die touw, daar hak hulle die krat en jy trek hom op en klip hom. So, as het kom dat die krat te val, die krat te val, jy hang veilig in jou handes. So, jy hoef nie bang te wees om te val nie, want jy sit net lekker in jou handes. Ok. Come on teams. So I understand you guys did a toss-up. Uh, who won that one? We won the toss and we decided to go second. Tim Horror, that means that you guys are going to stack the crates first. Now, Ron, you ready to do this for your team? Yeah, um, I'm very happy to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. Ready, steady, stack those crates! Yeah, let's do it! Stacking crates sky high is not as easy as it looks. There are a few rules. Tim Horror has just violated one basic stacking rule. Crates must lock into each other perfectly. Uh-oh. It's just a matter of time. It's gonna topple! <laughs> Told you so! Aish, let's go in. 
Team Horror, you rumbled and a tumbled. Gosh, let's find out how many crates you got. Errol, how many did they get up? Uh, they got 20 crates, 10 stack high. It was quite good. All right, guys, so now the fun and games is over. Let's clean up these crates and stack them up nicely for the next team. All right. Lovely! Oh, some intense team spirit there. Are you guys ready? Yes. Nina, are you ready to do this for your team? I was born ready. You were born ready. That's good to hear. Ready, steady, stack those crates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. It's obvious. Team Luatla has no clear leader, but they stack on in determined silence. You didn't put, you didn't put. Ooh, looks nice and high, but very wobbly to me. Yep, and there she goes! I am one. I better go in. Oh, yeah. Team Luwate, well done, that was fantastic. You stacked it pretty high. So now we must find out how many you got up. Errol, who feel crater? 24 crates, 12 stack high. That's pretty high. But you guys won't know just yet if you stack them higher than the other team. You'll only find out at the starting point. So come on, let's go. Okay. What's up, Kara? Hey. So just a quick recap. This is a timed relay race. Now this race is made up of three legs. With each leg, you're going to get a cryptic clue. With those clues, you'll also get some rules. You're not allowed to break them. You break any of the rules and it's automatic disqualification, which means that the other team wins by default. Not like a hey. Mm -hmm. ah. Now guys, you will only know who has won those points at the end of this heat of three challenges. So it will remain a secret up until that point. Got it? Yes. Okay. Cool. Now I'm sure you want to know who stacked the highest crates, right? Yes. yes. Okay, well, the team that stacked the highest crates was Luwate with 24! Well done! <laughs> that means you guys get your first clue right here, right now, to study and save yourself some time from the race. What are you waiting for? Hurry along! Thank you. So Team Horror, this is the semi-finals, so it's pretty huge. Are you set? All right. Ready! Steady! Sink or swim! And they're off! Arm is a little right, little right, oh. Arm is a little right, a wall you'll have to face scaly quickly and then cross the bridge, but wackle next to me. They figured it out. With Lewatle out of sight, Horror tackles the race head on. In the right direction, it seems. Hello? Uh uh, they forgot never own. Hey, hey, strong boy. Tish is getting cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phew, she made it. Go, Aldine, go. Come, Ozzy. We are going to go to the Oops, lost the shoe. Come out. Talk about face first. Come, Come, Okay, done. Let's go, team. Let's go. Your next clue. Open. It was the third clue. Yes, it was the third clue. You must know. You must know. You must know. You must know. You must This is a toughie. Three of you must go your own merry way and find clusters of red and yellow. 
they mark the spot where you must stay. Once you're all in place, the other will get on two wheels, circle each of you and leave you a parting gift. Last one done, all of you must find a helping hand. It will hold your next clue. Yes, I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get a lot of money. I'm going to get three apartments where I'm going to get a lot of money. Oshi! At last, they figured it out and they're on their way. A Segway, that is. Back home? But uh oh, Oswald forgot to circle Tertia. I get a photo mark. I forget to stop it. I drop the ice on the rock and I say, I'm going to come back. Come back to my own my hat. Oh my hat. What now? I get by the stress and I get down like it. What are you doing now? Get away, Oswald. Um, I must be slow now. My to come. Tertia, what are you doing? Come back. Oh, frustrating, yeah. At last, he's getting it right. But time, guys, time! Thank goodness, it's done and time for the last leg of the race. Okay, your next clue. The clue is easy. Inside the first letter of the alphabet, one will stand, three will motion. Warning to the one with the wooden leg, touch the ground and you will peg. When both legs are over the flag line, the race will be two. Come on, Tim Hora, you're almost there. And time, stop. <laughs> Congratulations! You've just finished the red race. How was it? You're like, you're like Mug. All right, but you did well, so congratulations. Except there was a little bit of a mishap. Oswald, what did you do with the Was it a bit Was it a bit Uh oh. That might cost you a little bit of time, but we'll find out how that's going to roll out a little later. For now, you can go relax because you've just worked so hard, and we'll get the other team in. All right, so go off, take a chuckle. Sure, it doesn't look good for Team Horror, but let's get Team Luwake in and see how they'll do. This is the semi-finals in Challenge SOS, where one team will go through to the finals and stand the chance to become the unsinkable outdoor class of 2011. Today, the teams are doing a rad race based on cryptic clues. The team that finishes in the shortest time will win this challenge. Team Luwata stacked the most crates and so they got an advanced clue, while Team Horror made a brave attempt. And now it's Luwata's turn. So, you guys got your first cryptic clue a little earlier than the other team, so you've got a bit of an advantage. But I wouldn't necessarily count on it because it's pretty tough. Team Luwata, are you set? Yes. Ready, steady, sink or swim! Without hesitation, they head for the wall. Girls first, then boys. Okay. Hey, Jai. Hey, Jai. You are it. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> sure, brave girl. She made it. Ow, wah. Another head first. Poor Nina. But she's okay and she's going for it. Guys, go. Okay, you're doing good. Dylan's done. And now Dian. Oh, come on. Okay, good go. Noch a klein sticky. Shoo, Luat is done with the cargo. I do was a two-year clue cry. Two it was a kick a second. Was it yes, I think, is 
ons moet vlaggies gaan zoeken en dan waar je die vlaggie krijgt moet je gaan staan. En dan moet zij dan om je rijden en toen komen ze later achter dat dit die palkie is met de ballonnen. Die is nog, Jenne! Er is one en dan is one. Dan moet ik om hulle rijden en dan vallen elke keer een vlaggie hier. Chantal's off on her subway. She delivers her first flag, circles Dian and goes off in the wrong direction. En toe gaan ek daar heel te mal soos in die boom in. Maar Willem het vir my gesê dat ek op my toe en ek moes voor in te leef. Toe spin die ding heel te mal soos mal en klippe soos het so'n bykie geskiet en alles. Okay, on we go. Come on Chantal, time's not waiting for you girl. Right, flag delivered to Dylan. Okay, op jou toe in die Chantal, kom! And on to anxious Nina. Oh my, I don't want to go to the Okay, your next clue. Phew, they're all safe. Now the last leg, uh, legs of the race. Come on, team of the watch there! You're almost there! Time! And time! Well done! Let's get all you guys cooled down and then we're gonna wrap things up, alright? Off you go. And the suspense continues. We'll only hear at the end of the heat which team did it in the shortest time and gets the points. Sure, that was pretty intense. I mean, I got tired just from watching you guys. Dylan from Lewatle, how was it? Well, today's challenge was pretty tough and intense, but we pulled through it, so it was okay. All right. Never on from Team Horror, how was that? Um, we, I think we did well. Um, for all my segue with us, well, I forget to move my palikit to The intensity continues for you guys online. If you want to join the outdoors revolution, then check in at sostv.co.za. or some of the teams. And I'm going to get information over the challenges. I'm going to challenge in the outdoors. Check it out. Well, that's it from me and the Challenge SOS team. Join us next week for some hectic beach activity where we will take to the sands and dig deep for an adventure full of speed and endurance. Sound good, guys? Yes. yes. Well, these guys are amped and so am I. Till next time, remember, guys, that life is what you make of it and the outdoors is where it's at. So come on, there's only one way to find out who will sink or swim. Believe it.